going on y'all welcome back to another video in my last video i talked about pernicious anemia i gave y'all a little information on some things that y'all can start doing if you have recently been diagnosed with pernicious anemia but in this video i really want to talk about the hardest part about living with it and i i feel like the hardest part about living with it is obviously the symptoms but it's it's having this thing you know take away from everything you want to do in life you know like living life is is definitely possible and you can live a life you know non-symptomatic but it takes a very long time to get there and even when you do get there you have to keep up with injections just to maintain it for instance um i was taking acting classes and you know i really enjoyed it you know i, I did a show and i enjoyed it but i recently depleted all my stores so when you deplete your stores essentially your body like your b12 is not working for your body so you go back to being symptomatic like every symptom you could think of so it's hard to function again you know what i'm saying so to put it into perspective just imagine you inject for two years plus after those two years you're at a point where you're at maintain maintenance stage right so maintenance stage is where like you're good you don't really have symptoms energy is good you could work out you could do whatever you know what i'm saying just make sure you inject so you get to that point and you start to pursue things that you've always wanted to pursue, but you couldn't do it back then because you were trying to figure out what was wrong with you or you was too sick. So you start doing that and then you deplete your stores and it's like you have to take another break from something that you've been pursuing because you're symptomatic again. I think that's the hardest thing for me because it's like at an age where you're supposed to explore different things that you want to do, I wasn't able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't able to try this and not do it. Try this and not do it. Try. I, I feel like I never really got to try something and stick with it because of this this health issue. I'm not going to lie. Like, it feels like this health issue has it, it has taken over my life in a way where it's, like I'm living it. But there's so much like rules and regulation to live my life just because of this health issue. You know what I'm saying? And I try my hardest every day to to push through because like I refuse to be on this earth and not make something out of myself because of it but it makes it so hard like it's 10 times harder to do it like now to put it into perspective again when I didn't know what this was I was at my lowest weight I was probably like 128 bro I was before I got sick I was like 170 so I was at 128 so when I got to maintenance stage and where I got to a, a, a point where I could start working out, I got 30 pounds of muscle back. Like I gained 30 pounds again. I just depleted my stores last month. I haven't been to the gym in a month. Like it, it's just annoying because you it's, it's stuff like that. And I think that's the hardest part about dealing with pernicious anemia. You know what I'm saying? It's just having to. You can only do as much as your body wants you to do. You can only do as much as your body's giving you. If you don't, if you deplete your stores, that you drink alcohol or you take a supplement that you shouldn't take, you're back to square one. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to load up again, load up. And everybody knows, like not everybody knows, but loading up, bro, like 30 injections equals like one day of injection. It's crazy. It takes so long just to have a little bit of progress when you're healing. It takes so long. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it it definitely it definitely puts a toll on your mental. You know what I'm saying? It puts a toll on your mental. Like sometimes you just want to cry. Sometimes you just want to be left alone. You want to have an attitude. You don't really want to engage with anybody because of this shit. Like people don't understand the severity of pernicious anemia. They don't. Doctors don't understand it. Your family won't understand it. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, they won't understand it. You know, they can only understand what you tell them, but they cannot feel it. You feel me? So whenever somebody tries to downplay what I'm going through or downplay a health issue, like it, it's just it's not it's inconsiderate. You know what I'm saying? It's stupid because you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I've gone through. You know what I'm saying? Like another thing that's hard about living with pernicious anemia is like is relate like relationships. And it, it's not even the fact that like. This person doesn't understand what you're going through or this person doesn't want to be with you through what you're going through. It's the fact that this health issue puts you in a, a mental state of like, bro, nobody wants to deal with somebody that has to deal with this. 
like nobody wants to deal with somebody that has to inject after this or inject after this or or they they could be they could go 30 days in energy and 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 excitement and something fucks up with their stores and they go at 30 days and they're just down and they're in the mood like you will put your own you will put yourself in a state of like bro no one wants to deal with this and you'll push them away like you'll either push them away or you'll just be like you'll not want to open up about it sometimes like because it's so much that goes into this autoimmune disease that it affects everything your mood your 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 energy towards people doing things on a regular 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 day basis for instance if you have a girlfriend and you know that you're the type of person that likes to do things and go out and have fun but you're dealing with autoimmune disease that literally makes you non-functionable it's hard to 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 like it's hard to just worry about your body and also you have to worry about making sure your relationship is straight because we all know like if you're not putting energy in your relationship it's gonna plummet you know what i'm saying we all know that if you're not good mentally physically emotionally you're not going to be good in that relationship so it takes a toll in dating and it takes a toll in you know uh just being with somebody and it's crazy because that person could want like they 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 could not even care like they could care less if you have pernicious anemia they could care less if if you know you have to inject you know they can care less about that if your mood is just not good today because of it they could care less but you yourself it will put you in a mental state like bro no one wants to deal with this and you will push them away you know what i'm saying um and another thing that's hard to deal with when having pernicious anemia is definitely like i would say the acne like i'm not gonna lie like this shit like healing makes you break out being low on it makes you break out like and it's annoying because especially if you do things where you got to be on camera or you're a model you're an actor you know what i'm saying like and also like it's just you know so it's confidence like it messes up your skin i'm not gonna lie to you and anybody that has pernicious anemia y'all can vouch like your, your skin be fucked up you have you'll have acne you know what i'm saying like and it's annoying because there's nothing you could do about it it's not what you put on your face and it's not even like it's not what you're eating it's none of that it's just your autoimmune disease it's your pernicious anemia you know what i'm saying like before i depleted my stores recently bro my shit was busting like i had clear skin like everything was good you know what i'm saying so when i started to build it back up again my skin has been out of whack since like like it's just been it's hard to tell on camera but like i've just been breaking out a little bit like discoloration and all that other stuff and i usually just have really really clear skin so that's another thing that's really annoying is like not only you got to deal with life work you got an autoimmune disease, your skin breaking out, you know what I'm saying? Like you're you're losing a, a, a crazy amounts of weight. It's just a lot, bro. It's a lot. Like I haven't been able to chew on this left side of my face. I don't every time I chew, it hurts. And I know it's nothing, it's not my teeth. It's like my autoimmune disease, bro. B12 is so important for everything in your body, your nerves, your nervous system, your skin, your hair. Bro, the way you digest your food, like it is so important that if it's off, every like things will just be off. Like every time I try to chew on this side, it hurts. Like, and I know I just have to let it pass because once I continue to inject and continue to inject, it will pass. You know? But what I will say is that a lot of people that have this and a lot of people that DM me about pernicious anemia. Like I'll talk to them and then I'll talk to them a month later and they're like they're talking they're telling me that, you know, they're still having symptoms and and I and what you have to understand is like, bro, you have to be extremely, extremely patient. Like it's kinda like you have to walk you have to just walk through the pain. You have to walk through the pain for as as long as it takes to get to a point where you're good again. You just have to deal with it, bro. Like you just have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Is nothing you could do about it. You have to just keep injecting and deal with it and keep pushing. That's all you could do. That is all you could do. You know what I'm saying? So be patient. Be patient and and stop trying to. I think the mind, like the the perspective on on healing is like, oh, I'm gonna take one, two, three, and I'm gonna be good, bro. Stop looking at it as like you're gonna be good tomorrow. 
Like, you can't look at it like that. You have to just keep injecting. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like you eat three times a day, you just eat and you eat and you eat. Like, and you just keep eating. Just keep eating. Just keep eating. Just keep taking these injections. Don't think, don't think, yeah, like, I'm going to feel better tomorrow. Like, just keep taking them, bro. There's going to be a month where you are just on, like, you're, you're great. And that's when it's going to start. Then you're going to start hitting the maintenance phase. And then now all you got to do is just keep your injections up. But you could, you, you're not symptomatic anymore. Like, just keep injecting and be patient. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to try and continue to put out this content for y'all because I know a lot of y'all are hurting. Because, like I said, when I first started, I didn't have, there was nobody my age breaking it down for me. Even from like, even not just from like what to do to heal, but just from like being a human being, bro. We have lies, bro. Like we deal with things on a regular day basis, bro. And then on top of that, we have to worry about health. I feel you. I get you and I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on so you know when I'm posting. And if y'all have any questions, bro, DM me. My Instagram is in my bio. DM me. I respond as soon as I see it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm still learning as well. So as I'm learning, I'm giving. As I'm learning, I'm giving. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all next video. Peace.